unionized employees working at the Surrey Memorial Hospital will find the information in this news video timely. I was a disabled worker and was fired by my local health authority. A workplace injury permanently disabled me and ended my nursing career. A medical court of last resort, known as a Claims Review Committee, awarded me long-term disability benefits. Awards made by a Claims Review Committee are supposed to be final and binding. However, my benefits were wrongly terminated by the insurance plan administrator. My local health employer altered my workplace records and disempowered me by falsifying reports to regulatory bodies. Doctors falsified medical reports and maligned my character by describing me as happily unemployed. My experience as a permanently disabled employee seeking justice led me to the BC Supreme Court. I found a court controlled by the Labour Relations Board of BC and judges fearful of losing their jobs. Disabled BC workers are denied justice and fairness when judges are not allowed to make a ruling based on the merits of the case. The best the judge could do for me was to confirm that there was no fraud in my petition. At Deny Disability, I have detailed my account of the events that happened to me. Go there now and read my story as presented to the BC Supreme Court. I hope you found this Deny Disability Worker News video helpful. Please support me by spreading the truth about the disempowering reality unionized employees will likely have to contend with when disabled in BC. Watch and like my videos. Leave a comment and tell your friends and loved ones about my disability experience in BC. Share my story on your social networks and if possible, please support me with a donation. What happened to me could happen to you or to someone you love. Help BC workers understand just how disabling unionized workplace authority can be. Bless you for your kindness and desire to live a life of awareness and accountability.